Hi, this is a demonstration of GSM based patient health monitoring project. So this is an uh, advanced system that allows the doctor or the relatives of a patient to check the health status of the patient remotely. So this system constantly monitors the patient health. That is, uh, we here monitor two parameters, the patient's heartbeat and the body temperature. If uh, either one of them goes above a particular limit, above or below a particular limit, the system sounds an alarm in the form of an SMS message and this message is sent to the registered mobile number. Now this mobile number can be of the doctor or the patient relative or any concerned person for that uh, you know monitoring and uh, for this purpose we here use an AVR family microcontroller which is uh, interfaced to an LCD display here and also interfaced to a heartbeat sensor and a temperature sensor and uh, we also have connected a GSM modem to send uh, this data remotely to the person and the system is powered by a 12 volt transformer here we also have some push buttons to uh, set the heartbeat rate you know the doctor can set the rate so that uh, if the person's heartbeat rises above or falls below a particular rate it will uh, send an uh, SMS message alert so let's see how the system works Let's power on the system. The system has been turned on and the GSM modem uh, has now been connected. So it says GSM initialized and it's waiting for the call. So once we call on this number, uh, the number from which we call gets registered. and. Uh, Whenever an SMS is to be sent, it is sent to this number that we register in the system. So let's give a call at this particular number. So the call has been received and the number has been configured in the system. And now it will start monitoring. So before monitoring, it asks uh, whether to, uh, you know, directly uh, start or uh, have to you, you need to change the setting so and you can see the number configured uh, message has also been uh, displayed on the system so whenever you configure a number it also sends a confirmation message on that particular mobile number that the number has been configured so now let's uh, you know choose from the menu and let's uh, enter the setting menu So once we go into setting menu, it uh, allows us to set the lower as well as upper limits. So these are the default values, you can change this as desired. So let's uh, go to the upper limit. So this is the upper limit, 120 heartbeats per second. The doctor can change this by using the up and down keys as desired. So now let's set this to 130. Similarly, you can change it. And let's now start the system. So the system has now started monitoring. So it's monitoring the heartbeat as well as the temperature. So, you know, if uh, constantly three uh, values monitored are out of uh, that particular range, it sends the SMS. You know, if one value, you know, may sometimes go above the limit, so, you know, it uh, rest, uh, keeps uh, monitoring values and if three values continuously go above that particular range, then it sends an SMS. So, let's uh, do one thing, let's simulate a temperature rise. So, we can't, uh, you know, manually increase our own uh, heartbeat here, but we can uh, increase the temperature to check the feature. So this way we can simulate as the patient temperature rising. So as you can see, as soon as it detected, you know that the patient's temperature went uh, above a particular uh, limit, it has sent an SMS message as you can see here. 
at the temperature is high so similarly if the heartbeat is high enough it sends uh, uh, that message about the heartbeat so you know let's check one more feature there's also a manual uh, help button if the patient uh, you know doesn't have any such uh, the temperature rise or uh, his, his heartbeats are uh, you know normal but he has some other issues so he can still uh, call for help using this button here because he needs to call the doctor for some other purpose so even uh, this option is there so in this way the system is very helpful for patients to uh, you know for doctors to monitor their health as well as uh, they can uh, call for uh, help directly and uh, also there is one more feature in the system where the doctor or the monitoring person can send a particular sms with uh, the letter s in the message s is for status so even if the doctor wants to check the status of the patient at particular time he can send an sms message with s in the message So as you can see we have sent an SMS message here. And we'll wait for the message to be received. So it's saying that SMS is received and it's sending the status now. So as you can see we have also received the message here about the status. So as you can see the status at that particular time interval when we send the message so this is the status here heartbeats 84 and temperature 27.5 degrees celsius so this is how the system efficiently monitors patient health parameters and constantly updates the monitoring person or the doctor about the health status of the person so this is how the project works thank you